This is 7 National News and in our top story, the UAE Vice President, Prime Minister and Ruler of Dubai, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, through his page on Twitter, affirmed that young people should have a clear vision and specific goals in their lives, adding that without a clear path, vision and specific goals, their days would be mere numbers on a calendar. His Highness stressed the need for the youth to set targets, to develop themselves, to advance in their work and to maintain their families, as well as to contribute to the progress and advancement of their homeland, not to mention their duties toward their God. Sheikh Mohammed also rendered advice to young people asking them to do good and treat people nicely. Sheikh Mohammed had earlier tweeted about what was wanted from young people and now in his tweets he is completing what he had started. The UAE Ministry of Labor is encouraging all employers to report any worker who is absent from work for more than seven consecutive days without a valid reason. Aisha Mohammed Balharfia, director of the Labor Offices Department at the ministry, was quoted in a local daily as saying that employees who did not show up to work for more than seven days in a row is a red line which should not be crossed. They should be immediately reported to the ministry which would enable them to track and help the employee avoid engaging in any illegal activities in the country. The official added that the labor ministry should be notified in case of termination of the labor relationship either by the employee or the employer. This is one of the measures approved by the ministry in coordination with the Interior Ministry in an effort to clear the employer of any responsibility if the employee did get into any legal problems. The Emirates Identity Authority aims to focus on the development of a host of e-government initiatives, according to local reports. This follows the completion of enrollment of all UAE residents in the Population Register and National ID cards. The advanced ID systems developed by Emirates ID play a vital role in enabling the e-government projects, particularly the e-link with all government entities and the digital ID project. Officials say the ultimate goal is to offer government services to customers through mobile devices. Dr. Ali al Khuri, Director General of Emirates ID, was quoted as saying that the authority has launched its ambitious new strategic plan 2014-2016 to with a prime objective of enhancing the UAE security and boosting its global competitiveness. This will be done through providing an integrated advanced ID management system that serves the UAE Vision 2021. The Ministry of Environment and Water issued a resolution on banned and restricted pesticides in the UAE. His Excellency Dr. Rashid Ahmad bin Fahad, Minister of Environment and Water, issued the Ministerial Decree No. 511 of 2013. It prohibits all companies, establishments, and individuals from importing, manufacturing, trading, or using nine different pesticides which are banned in international conventions due to the presence of toxic substances that are dangerous to humans. The resolution included a list of the banned pesticides for domestic purposes, as well as those used as veterinary pesticides, in addition to the use of agricultural pesticides, which has been strictly controlled. The ministry also restricted the use of seven agricultural pesticides, which are not allowed to be used, except by authorized technicians under the supervision of competent governmental authorities. These pesticides are carcinogenic and highly toxic, with dangerous effects on the environment. It stressed that all the public and private companies and institutions must dispose of the mentioned items in a safe environmental way in coordination with the concerned local authorities. By mid-2014, selling of water bottles that have no quality marks will no longer be allowed in the UAE. Packaged drinking water sold in the country must bear a quality mark issued by the Emirates Authority for Standardization and Metrology or ESMA, according to a local daily. The regulation approved by the UAE cabinet will ensure all drinking water is fit for consumption from the source to the consumer. It will also cover the materials that come in contact with drinking water, such as containers, 
tankers and pipelines to prevent contamination. They added that most drinking water bottles labeled mineral water is not actually mineral water. With the new law, manufacturers must identify the source of water, the treatment process, as well as the material used for packaging. Nearly 95 companies currently market and manufacture drinking water in the UAE, and all of them will have to comply with the new standards before the end of the first quarter of 2014, according to ESMA. The implementation of the law will be done in coordination with local municipalities, and violators will be fined between 10,000 to 100,000 dirhams. The Al Ain Traffic and Patrols Division of the Abu Dhabi Police seized 76 driver's licenses last month and cancelled two others for breaking traffic rules. According to Major Salah Abdullah al Hamari, head of Al Ain Traffic Section, the confiscated driving licenses have reached the limit of 24 black points for committing traffic offenses. Dangerous violations such as driving a vehicle without a registration plate, driving under the influence of alcohol or drugs, and not stopping after causing an accident that resulted in injuries can get a driver 24 black points immediately and the vehicle impounded for two months. The same number of black points applies on dangerous overtaking by trucks along with a vehicle being impounded for two months. While driving dangerously, such as drag racing on roads, will get 12 black points and a 30-day car seizure. al Hamari added that drivers who rack up 24 black points will have their driving licenses withheld for three months for the first offense, six months for the second offense, and a whole year for a third, with the risk of it being revoked for life. And finally, in the bulletin, A-level examination results were announced on Thursday morning and caused celebration for many students deciding on the university they will attend and careers they plan to pursue in the future. The results revealed an upwards trend for schools in the UAE, with many achieving a 100% pass rate. The Jumeirah College achieved their school's best-ever results as all their 113 students who took the A-levels passed. 44% received either A plus or A grades, while 78% received a B grade and above. Dubai British School also broke records, with 33% of pupils achieving A plus grades, up from 24% last year. Over 80% of grades achieved are from levels A plus to C. Meanwhile, in the capital, the British school at al Kubayrat reported improved results compared with last year, with almost 90% of grades between A plus and C, results in subjects that showed the biggest increase in terms of A plus and A passes, included economics at 73%, English at 56%, and chemistry at 45%. The Cambridge High School in Abu Dhabi also saw 31% of its students score A plus or A grades, while 57% received a B grade and above.